What is up, my happy fam? Let me check and see real quick. Make sure it's a good one. Yeah, we look, we sound like we're, oh. Kind of found it, son of a biscuit mother. Trucking. <sighs> Babe, call your mom. <laughs> Dude. Right off the bat this morning. Interruptions. So, um. Gosh. I might have to wait until that's done. That's going to be too distracting. Hopefully we won't be interrupted again. Alright, so. Good start. Already trying to be distracted. Fantastic. Alright, so. Um, I don't have an inspiration per se. But I did want to say a few things. I know that when I feel a certain way, I, I'm not the only one. And lately, I've been feeling like I've either been left behind or forgotten. Because sometimes that can happen. Not that you've been left behind or forgotten, but that you just feel like that. And I wanted to pass along to you all something that I remind myself of frequently. And that it's that even if Everyone, everywhere in the whole wide world forgets you and leaves you behind. There is one who will never leave you and never forsake you. And that is in the Bible. And it is directed towards you. I want you to know, Jesus is always there. He will always send someone or something to remind you that he loves you. So yeah, you might be a little hurt, you might be a little alone, you might feel isolated. It's okay. You don't need people, you need Jesus. And I can say that from personal experience because sometimes when you're in the waiting period, it can be really obnoxious. You know you have a blessing coming. You're expecting something. You have asked God for something. Or God has given you a promise. And you're listening to him. And you believe him. And you believe that he'll fulfill these requests. But it's taking so long. And you're left in this valley of waiting. And you're wondering, what am I supposed to do? Well, after you get through all the hemming and hawing over how unfair it is that you don't have your promise yet, God keeps reminding you that he's going to give it to you, I want to invite you to do one thing. Let me take a sip real quick. I want to make sure my whistle is wet really good for this. Because I want you to do something that, while it may be hard, it is also important and helpful. You see, when you're in these times where things don't make sense and you're all alone, and the only one that you have to talk to is God, talk to Him. Don't just talk to him. Worship him. I know. It sounds 
counterintuitive. You think that you should be complaining to him, telling him how fed up you are. You could do that. That's fine. But don't forget to tell him how much you love him. Don't forget to thank him for how much he loves you. Because I know you don't see it right now, and I know things are hard, and you're probably listening to me with sarcasm in your heart and negativity in your mind, thinking to yourself, what does this chick know? Listen. <laughs> The stories I could tell you on waiting on God. I have not received my promise yet. I am just like you. And one of the hardest lessons that I'm having to learn is just letting it go and letting God do what he does best. The hardest thing to do is to give God praise when everything is hurting and everything is hard. You're stuck in a moment where bad things might be happening or you're just alone and there's no one there with you in this alone season. Like you might have friends and family physically there, but it's hard to explain to people what you're going through. And those are the times when you just have to find a quiet place. A place where you can be alone with God. And just pray. So I would actually like to invite you to do that right now. If you could. If you're having trouble. Let me help you pray. We'll join our faith together. And we'll lift each other up. So if you could, bow your head, close your eyes, call out to Abba, ask him to help you to see what he sees, how he sees. Abba, we thank you so much for everything that you are doing today we thank you for the joy and the peace that you bring to our hearts for waking us up to see another one of your miraculous days and for all the miracles and joy and blessings that you are bringing into it help us today to guard our hearts and our minds against the things that are trying to make us sad and upset and angry the things that try to come at us and engage us in fights and arguments. We ask that you would please bless and restore us as we seek to delve deeper into you. Put the hunger and thirst back into our hearts. Revive us, Abba, as we desperately desire to be closer to you. As we give our hearts to you, Fill us with your Holy Spirit. Show us what we do not know. Give us eyes to see and ears to hear all that you are explaining to us. That we may see clearly and hear clearly the voice of the Holy Spirit and where it is leading us. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. All right. So, we are bringing the documents to... I am not over encumbered. Stop it. Good gravy. Very good. Let's see what you have here. Interesting. They know more of our plans than I expected. It would seem Fort Dunstan is in need of reinforcements. We'll make sure they won't be getting those. One moment while I correct some of these documents. That should do it. 
Make sure those forged documents get to the Storm Club commander in Dawnstar. It'll throw him off our trail, allowing us to maneuver more freely. Aye, aye, mon capitaine. Until next time. Dawnstar, gotcha. Hold on, fam. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. Okay. Well, that sounded interesting. I'm here to lend my magic. To Fight or die well. Is that so? I don't recognize you. Why aren't you wearing your stormcloak colors? I suppose it would be. Good thinking. All right. <laughs> Let's take a look. Why ah, is that good. so easy? Looks like the reinforcement for the fort are on the way. We have some information about enemy troop movements as well. Excellent. It's not easy running messages, what with Imperial scouts crawling all over the place. Well done. Why don't you grab yourself a drink at the Wind Peak before heading back? Until next time. I was sitting there wondering, like, why wouldn't he be fooled by... If I were wearing the Imperial Kiris, like what? What? Little poopski. Your poopski. What do you want? Kind of move for you. What? Move. Oh. Move. You show me later. I can show you when you sit down. Oh, okay. He's gonna teach me some more martial arts, fam. Hold on. Alright, so... Somebody puts the arm out. Mm-hmm. You say you're coming, right? Mm-hmm. Do it. Uh-huh. Both points. <laughs> <laughs> gotta put it... Okay. Alright. So... And right? Uh-huh. You got this? Uh-huh. Just come up and you try this, right? Uh huh. So you're coming, you block, block. Uh huh. And then in the elbow, right oh. up the arm right here. Ow. And then hammer. Oh, yeah, that would hurt. Yeah, that would hurt. He teaches me. <laughs> Can you let her out? The poor thing. She's been in there all morning. Something to report? All right. Really? The General and I have our disagreements. Your objective is Fort Dunstad. Meet the soldiers preparing for the attack. Then join Baby. them in wiping out the rebels. Once you prevail, Honey. you garrison the fort. Well, soldier, Hi! Task? <laughs> Can you let her out? Just put the thing up? No. <laughs> Be nice! She's a sweet baby. She's been in there all morning. 
took her out, she played with us on the bed for a bit, and then you put her back in there. <laughs> I knew I could count on you, soldier. What do you want, precious? <laughs> Tell daddy. I wanna get out. I wanna go. Hi, baby girls. Yes, baby babies. Hey, Missy, what's up? <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Okay. I need... Wait, what time is it? Oh, that's the wrong one. There we go. Really? Got lots of things to take. Hold on. If I wait... Well, what do you need? Stop it. Let's find out. Let's see what we need... Find your belly, hands down. Wait, that didn't sound right. Hey. There we go. I've got a little boy if you're interested in that. Not interested. Thief. Welcome, my friend. How may I help you on this fine day? Take a look. Uh, we'll be in here. Yes. Patrick. Dwarven. Ebony. Don't need that. How do you not have glass arrows? You suck, bro. God ah! bless you, babe. What are you doing? Get it out of her mouth. The nose. The nose. Where's your where's your fluffies? Oh. Excuse me. Hey. Oh! That's my toe, you jerk. <laughs> hey, looky. You... There you go, good girl. That's what you chew chew on. Yes, that's what you chew chew on. Yes. Chew chew on that, and then your leopard, not on stuff, not on your stuff yet. Sorry, I'm playing with her for a second. It's mommy playtime. This happens often. Her, her, her. It's your mommy playtime, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your mommy playtime. You play with your leopard? Yeah. She's got the cutest little stuffed leopard, and she's so adorable with it. Is it your leopard? Kitty, kitty, kitty. <gasps> Good girl. All right. Hi, the baby babies. Hi, the baby babies. Oh, the baby girl. Go tell daddy. Go tell daddy. Go tell daddy. Go play with it with daddy. Go tell daddy. You go tell daddy right there. almost got my cord in there. Then I wouldn't have had anything to talk to the fan with. You silly girl. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> We're not playing that game. Stop. Stop. We're not playing that game. Get out of there. We're not playing that game. This isn't wrap the baby in the blanket. Kid, stop. Oh, no. Get your butt out. Yeah. Alright, one more time. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, you're so strong. So strong, baby. So strong, baby. No, no. Uh, you're a butt. You're a butt. Ready? Ew. 
Okay, go take it to daddy now. Go take it to daddy. No, go take it to daddy. <laughs> no, go take it to daddy. Daddy, throw it. <laughs> daddy, throw it. What are you doing? Gosh, you're such a butter butt. I'm the one that let you out. Why are you chewing on stuff? Huh? Huh? I'm the one that got you out of jail. I got you out of baby lockdown. You should be nice to me. Hey, what's up, Elizabeth? Friend. May you die with a sword in your hands. Take a look. Does she not have... Nope. Come back okay. whenever you need something. Who's this guy? Did you get a health test? That's awesome. I'm happy for you, Elizabeth. Hey! Uh-uh. No. 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 No, that doesn't mean you claw it with your back paws. Out of your mouth. Out of your mouth. The finest jewelry in all of Put it down. Drop it. Thank you. Good girl. No. Leopard. You want a cut of innocent or mutton? Well, of course. Shoot you, you on leopard. Not on mama's blankie. Thank you. Red guard craftsmanship in every <laughs> She's such a butt. Such a toddler. Maybe I should call her. Huh? Okay. Stops. Waiting for this kid to get the track. May your weapons be take a look. Are you kidding? Yeah. So that year, a whole he messaged this guy. He got all his fans and they all bombarded and called uh, the police department over there. And we're all messing with him. In fact, hey, don't you chew on this. No nose, baby. No nose. Where's your leopard? No. See this? No. No. Where's your leopard, baby? It's okay. Come here. You're okay. There's oh, her leopards right next to you on this. Okay. Hey, yeah, she's a cool baby. Play with her for a little bit. Yes, yeah, sit with daddy. Be good girl. <laughs> Probably. He bonked it. They beat her up. <laughs> play with her. She wants to play so bad. Yeah, because she got in trouble. She lick her puppy? You got a liquor problem? Oh boy. Is it not? What? Got some good pieces out here. I need arrows, dude. You know what? I'm not even gonna wait. I I'm done. I'm done. I should have done this yesterday, and I didn't.
<laughs> Did she just scratch the crap out of me? She's like, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Exactly. With the one cast. Oh. Uh, uh, should I go to the crevice? I mean, I guess. Illusions. What's oh, you? What you got? You got? No, 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 no. Stop. Stop chewing on things! Ah. No! <laughs> we should have let her out, like, when I got up. I wake up. I could have played with her. And she wouldn't be this... naughty. Because usually she's a good girl for me. It's when you come home. You're the problem, Daddy. He's not paying attention. I'm trying to mess with him, and he's completely ignoring me. Nice. <laughs> Love you too, babe. <laughs> Alright, let's quick save here. Oh my gosh, that's annoying. What is that? This is extreme, dude. There's thousands of people. Alright, there's a thousand people. There's a thousand people. You're going down a mountain on a bike. Uh huh. done with you yet. Here I come! Get this a booty! No. Nope, that's my best shot. I'm fighting here. Hold on. 
Need to get back up there. Where they at? We're all after this one person who is running for their life. Probably don't, but it's always best to check and see if I do. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. There we go. USA! USA! Oh, where'd he go? Bro took off, man! Is gone. Where are we going? Okay. You hear what he said? What? Trump said, God bless the people of Israel. Yeah. The Jews. Not jihad. You hear that? We don't support jihad. We support the Jews. That's where it's supposed to be going. And you got jihadist people in, in, in our state, the state of Michigan, running around over in Dearborn, Michigan. Seven. They got people in Dearborn, Michigan. You see those warriors from Hammerfell? What is it, Elf? The roads are white runs, not safe these days. Taking the pale gives us another port in Dawnstar and puts us within striking distance of Windhelm. That should make Ulfric a bit more cautious, huh? Battles are won by trained and disciplined men. Wars are won by talented and exceptional individuals. I'm raising you to Prefect. Take this blade as a gift and symbol of your new rank. You've earned it. You're needed in Winterhold. Report to our hidden camp there. For the Empire.
If it's arms or armor you need, see Bayrand and Castle Dower. Very good blacksmith, that one. I've got a little work if you're interested, traveler. Disrespect the law and you disrespect me. Heard about you and your honeyed words. Alright, we have 20 minutes left on the stream. Let's go ahead and... What am I supposed to be doing? I guess we'll go there, it would be closest. Something to the general.
Admiral and I have our disagreements. Your objective is Fort Kostov. The rebels are keeping some of our men prisoner there. I aim to turn that into an advantage. I've sent men to scout out the area. You are to meet them, find a way to slip in, free our men, and take over the fort. They won't be expecting an attack from the inside. This won't be easy, but that's why I'm sending you. Think you can handle it? Good. Make it happen, soldier. Okay, so... I'm doing that now. Where's this at? Really? I remember this spot. Wait, did we come on the wrong side? Free the prisoners and take over the fort. Gotcha. So this is a rescue mission. Meaning... <laughs> what happened here? So many shadowy corners to strike from. <laughs> All right, let's pull up an aura whisper. Us? Yeah. Find out what we're dealing with. That is a whole lot of people. Oh boy. Okay. Why is she just standing there looking at me? So we got a few more up here. Oh, I see you. Come on down. Really 
you see you. So we have to come in through here. Where is it at? Fire breath. Is nobody up here? You know me so well. Excuse me. Oh, nice. I'll take that and that. What's in here? I'll take all those. Thank you. That's a lesson. Hey! Alright. Last but not least, let's go. Alright. Got him. cool. That horse is still on there. What do we have to do in here? I can report our success. I'll stay here and clean up the mess. Glad you were here. Couldn't have done it without you. Got it. Oh, hello. All right. The Queen Potemo was awful. We got 10 more minutes, fam. Oh. Best offense is a good defense. You're interested, right? traveler. Wanderer like you must have plenty of tales to tell. What is it? Okay. If it's arms or armor you need, see Baron in Castle Dower. Hello? Now that we have Winterhold, I can garrison some troops there until I'm ready to march on Windhelm. I have come to rely heavily upon you. It is no. only fitting that you join the upper echelon. Oh. I am hereby elevating you to the rank of legate. 
Oh! On behalf of the Empire and myself, please accept this gift along with your new rank. Congratulations. Make your way to our camp in Falkreath. We're going to take it back. And don't think I've forgotten that you were the one that gave it to Ulfric in the first place. What? For the Emperor. How did I give it to... I'm sorry? Did he just promote me and then insult me? What? Oh. That's cool. But it's not better than Blackfire. Ugh. You want to the same kind, you and I. I'm. If that is what you wish. Yeah, I want to give you a cool weapon. There you go. There you got a cool sword. Go with that cool outfit. Why am I still over encumbered? Really? Really? I think I needed the dang armor. <sighs> I guess we're spending the last ten minutes getting prepared. We're going on a fight. Imagine you giving me crap. The entire town. Damn college. Winter hold would never be the same. You know what else is never gonna be the same? My walking speed, unless I can get rid of this banded iron garbage. If I wasn't wearing Death Brand, it might actually work, but you know, I'm wearing Death Brand. I figured I'd go this way than the other way because, well, but quicker. So, you of. could cast a few spells. Am I supposed to be impressed? No, you should be impressed by my body count. Because I'm sure it's higher than yours. Oh! I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm salty. Dude, we literally spent three minutes just walking to my house. I'm gonna kick somebody's butt. Cause he gave me too much stuff. We go. That's much better. All right, let's go. We can at least get position. I'll get that in a minute. I don't care. Um, where are we going? That's the question. I suppose I ought to pull it up. On what are you doing coming from down there? Coven would be closest. 
Sorry, fam. He's probably gonna keep calling me until I answer. So, the last few minutes might be, uh, a bit noisy in the background. I apologize. We can at least go over here. So, um, I guess tomorrow, around 11, we're just gonna avoid them. Because I'm not in the mood to get into a fight right this second. And... Made it! Alright, so, um... Thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with me. Uh, I really don't have anything much else to say. Let's see, I... Oh yeah, tomorrow is going to be a little later than today's was. So it will be 11, my time. So if you want to know what it's going to be on your time, you, again, I know I sound like a broken record, but you can go into the schedule, look it up, it'll show it on your time. But I want to make sure that you guys know that the schedule's changed, that it's not at night anymore, or whatever time that it was before for you, it's going to be a different time. I try to make it convenient for everybody, but it has to also work around my schedule. So I will see you guys tomorrow around 11. Thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with me. I love you all so much. You're so amazing. You're wonderful. You're spectacular. You're loved. And I and Jesus love you both. And keep your chin up and be keep being awesome, fam. God bless, peace, and be happy, fam. Bye.